This is Peter from 305 Drone Guys, and we're here with the popular Phantom 3. We want to introduce to you a new option when flying the Phantom 3. DJI has released an HDMI uh, output that you can actually install on the back of the remote for a Phantom 3. Uh, it can work on the professional or the advanced. You to uh, see the, the mod anything you would see here on the, the phone, but onto a larger display, or actually on these fat chart goggles. One more time for the people at home. <laughs> so if you're gonna do long range FPV, this is the way to go. There's a lot more detail. You know, it's a, the color is a lot better. Everything's not so dark. You can see the power lines actually a lot better. Don't recommend standing though. <laughs> you know, move around a lot. Your body wants to. Uh, oh, there goes the battery. Now to set it up correctly, the original Phantom Remote will set up to put video only to the phone or only to the monitor. So if you want to simultaneously have video on both your phone and any monitor or the goggles, all you have to do is go to the HD settings, scroll down. It's this setting right here, so simultaneously output um, to the app and HDMI, turn that on, which we already have. And you have the option to shut off the OSD. So if you're actually using that monitor for for the people to see, you can actually shut off all the telemetry so no one would know um, the distance and the height and all that stuff. Okay, so the, oh, the stuff that you're going to see is actually not the same. It's not a replica of the, video, the image you're going to see on your phone. And also, keep in mind that the monitors you have and stuff like that, are, they're not touchscreen, so you can't change any setting. This is strictly just to get video out. So it's always good to have the phone or a tablet, whatever you use to adjust all your settings because if you're mid-flight or doing something and you want to adjust stuff, you have to still go back to your phone. But it does give you quite a bit of telemetry, so you can have quite a bit of information while you're flying. But you have the mode, right now it's in the Opti mode because we have no GPS as you can see. This is our GPS signal, so it's completely zero because we're inside. The remote signal strength, the video signal strength, the battery percentage. And if you look closely, you can see these four dots and uh, this triangle and other four dots. That's actually the attitude of the unit. So if you actually were flying the unit, I'm going to grab it right now, and you see if I kind of hard to put on a if you see if I tilt the unit you'll see that the, you can actually see the attitude above so it just gives you a, a, a reference of how it's flying so what's in the air you can see how it's responding to the wind and then uh, a little higher up you'll see a, a diamond that little diamond actually points towards the home point so if you're actually flying away and you rotate this diamond will actually slide side to side so if you want to fly back home just make sure you put that diamond directly in front of you and it'll, it'll guide you back to your home point and on the bottom you have your height, your distance, and then all your speeds. And then you you recording? From the camera. Okay. Those are the that people like. Whoa. This is the budget version of the Osmo or whatever it's called. 